All right, so this is my 2008 BMW 328i. It's the E90 chassis. And the problem I've been having with it is uh, when I plug in my scanner into the OBD2 port, there wouldn't be any communication with the car. So the first time I ran into this problem was when I brought the car to a smog check shop to get a smog so I can renew my registration. So the smog check technician told me that when he tried to plug in the scanner into the OBD2 port, that there wasn't any communication with the vehicle, so he couldn't even start the smog check process. So the smog check technician told me that he checked the OBD2 port for power and ground, and it was good, but it was still not getting any communication with the vehicle. So I brought my car home, and then I tried plugging in my generic OBD2 scanner into the port and that wouldn't work it said there was no communication with the car and then I also tried to uh, this right here the BMW specific scanner and this also couldn't communicate with the car even if I manually entered the VIN and, and the car all right so this is the fuse panel uh, it's under the dash behind the glove box on the passenger side so as you can see, I removed the glove box, but to access the fuse panel, you don't even uh, need to re completely remove the glove box. You can just remove the access panel on the back of the inside of the glove box. So I was reading some forums online on uh, what could make the OBD port not work. And one of the things was if one of the fuses in the fuse panel were bad, then it could affect the communication with the OBD port. So I used the check light and I checked all the fuses and made sure that they were all good fuses. So I just used one of these uh, power testers to make sure all the fuses were getting power and they weren't blown. And there was a couple of fuses that were bad, so I just replaced those. And then after that, I tried plugging in the scanner again and there still wasn't any communication with the car. All right, so the next thing I checked was the ECU box that's under the hood on the passenger side. So this is where the DME is, and there's also a couple fuses. So what I did was I, I checked the fuses in the ECU box, and they were good. And I also took out the DME, and I checked for corrosion around the plug, and I checked the plug itself to make sure there wasn't any corrosion and it was good so i installed everything back so the dme is good and all the fuses are good so the next thing i checked was the obd port itself so what i did is i just removed this whole cover piece right here and then i removed the screw that holds the connector in place for the obd2 port and i checked all the wiring and i checked uh, behind the connectors to make sure everything was seated properly and, and that there weren't any pins that were pushed out or bent and that was good so I installed everything back and I also used the multimeter and probed the pins to make sure that the correct pins are getting power or ground and that was good so it wasn't a connector problem all right so after not being able to diagnose the problem myself I had to bring it to the BMW dealership and I paid $960 for them to try to find the problem. So the BMW dealership told me that the, they couldn't get communication with the car either. So what they did was they started disconnecting modules to try to see if there was a bad module that was causing the car not to be able to communicate through the OBD2 scanner. So one of the modules that they checked was the JBE box or the junction box and they concluded that that was the problem. So they recommended a new JBE module or junction box. So the BMW dealership quoted me $1,022 to replace the junction box or the JBE box. And then they wanted another 
$420 to reprogram the JBE. So they basically wanted 1500 to get a brand new JBE or junction box and reprogram it and install it back on the car. So I just went on eBay and found a used one. So this only cost me $150. So the JBE is located right here, right under the fuse panel, fuse box. So this is the old one. So you see where the two plugs are? That's right here. So to replace this, I just had to take off the glove box and then remove two screws and then unplug these two connectors. And then there's also one on the back, or two on the back. Well, this connector connects to the fuse box itself, and then this is a connector. So, technically there is three connections to unplug. And then this one just plugs into the back of the fuse box. So after installing the new JBE, I plugged in my BMW scanner and it was able to communicate with the car and read all the codes and stuff unlike before with the bad JBE it, it couldn't not only read the not read the codes but it couldn't communicate with the car at all because it couldn't talk with the ECU or the DME in the car so this BMW scanner that I got off Amazon was less than $200 so since I was able to communicate with the car again, I plugged this scanner in and then I just reprogrammed the JBE through the, there's an app on this scanner that just uh, reprograms the JBE. So after I've done that, I bring it to the smog shop and the smog tech was able to, to communicate with the car and I was able to pass smog. So I was able to fix the problem of not being able to read any codes or communicate with the car through the OBD2 port with just a $150 part from eBay and then a scan tool that was less than 200 from Amazon. So that was what, less than 500 bucks? And that's way cheaper than spending 1500 through the BMW dealership. So besides the eBay part and the scan tool, I basically had to pay a thousand dollars to the dealer for them to find this problem. So hopefully if you watch this video and you got this same problem, you don't gotta bring it to a dealership and waste a thousand dollars for them to find the problem. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful.